Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to look at BEDMAS. And BEDMAS is an acronym used to remember the order of operations. So it's a standard rule for the calculations of mathematical expressions. And before we get into it, I just want to comment that if you've seen the intro to exponents video, as well as the grade 8 fraction videos, that'll make this lesson for today for you a lot easier. So what is BEDMAS? B stands for brackets. E stands for exponents, D stands for division, M for multiplication, A addition, S subtraction. And the order is from top to bottom. Now D and M could be M or D, doesn't matter, whichever comes first, left to right. And same with AS, it could be SA or AS, doesn't matter, whichever comes first, left to right. So let's do lots of examples so that you really understand this bed mass concept. So example one, simplify. So we're doing brackets first, bed mass, brackets comes first. So what's in the brackets here, two plus three. So that's the first thing that we do, two plus three is five. And the five here is times four, right? That's what it has, all of this times four. So five times four, 20. So this here simplifies to 20. B, six divided by two times seven. Now we notice that there's only division and multiplication here. And so the rule, the standard rule, is that you have to go whatever comes first. So here 6 divided by 2 comes first, gives 3. And then that answer, times 7, gives 21, like that. And so you'll notice that C, we put some brackets here, and we're going to get a different answer. So we're going to start with 2 times 7, which gives 14. So we have 6 divided by 14. So 6 divided by 14, like that. And now we have 2 in common, so we cancel that out, and we get 3 over 7 as our final answer. So it's not the same. So brackets are important when you're going to communicate uh, the mathematical expression. Okay, D. Negative 3 squared times 6 minus 8. So what's in the bracket here goes first, so 6 minus 8 is negative 2. And you remember from our exponents video, the square is only touching the 3. It's not all negative 3 squared, it's just the 3. So we have negative 9, like that, times negative 2. And we saw in our multiplying integers video that negative 9 times negative 2 gives positive 18, like that. So this simplifies to 18. Okay, next. 3 plus 2 is within the brackets. So that goes first, so we got 5 squared as such. So we have 5 squared times 4 minus this thing, which is 9 squared, so that gives 81. So 5 squared is 25. So we have 25 times 4 minus 81. Multiplication comes first. So we have 100 minus 81, which gives 19, like that. F. 3 plus 4 over 2, so this is all of 3 plus 4 divided by 2, so it's as if there's brackets there, okay? So all of 3 plus 4 is divided by 2, so this gives 7 over 2, like that. G, 2 plus 3 times 5 over 4 times 5. So the big picture is all of this divided by all of that as such. So we'll start with our bed mass, so we got multiplication comes first, 15. So we have 2 plus 15 divided by 20, like that, which gives 17 over 20 as our final answer. And I just want to make a little comment here. These, this 5 cannot be cancelled. Why? Because on the top, the big picture is an addition. This plus that. We can only cancel from 5s if it's a multiplication as the big picture. If there are brackets around this, then we could say, oh, 5 over 5 can be taken out and cancelled, like that. So I just want to comment, just because there's a multiplication here doesn't mean the 5 gets cancelled out. In fact, in our next example, we can simplify the 5. See, it's all of this times 5, so the 5's cancel as such, which gives 5 over 4 as our final answer. Okay, so we have these problems here for you. So go ahead and pause the video and perform these simplifications.
Okay, so let's correct them together. A, 4 plus 6 minus 2, so we just read it left to right. So we got 10 minus 2, 8, as such. B, 3 times 8 divided by 2. We, the bracket and division, none of them comes first. You go left to right. So we go left to right, so 24 divided by 2, which gives 12. C, inside the brackets goes first, so that's 3 cubed. 2 squared is 4. 3 cubed is 27. 4 times 27, 108, like that. D, 6 times 2 plus 3 times 3. So bed mass, so multiplications come first. So 6 times 2, 12. 3 times 3, 9. Add them up, 21, like that. E, here we have an exponent within the brackets. So we're doing the brackets first, and within the brackets, the 2 cubed comes first. So this is 8 minus 10 like that. Negative 2 squared, all of negative 2 is being squared with the bracket, so that's 4. 2 minus 5, negative 3 like that. 8 minus 10, negative 2. So negative 2 cubed minus 12. Right? 4 times negative 3 is minus 12. Negative 2 cubed is negative 8. Right? Negative 2, negative 2, negative 2 gives negative 8. Minus 12 gives us negative 20 as our final answer. F. Negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. So all of this here divided by 12 like that. So this up top gives negative 2 over 12. There's a 2 in common, bang, bang. So negative 1 over 6 is our final answer. G. What do we got? 3 squared comes first within the bracket. So that's 9 plus 2. 1 plus 4 is 5, like that. 5 times all of this divided by 5 times all of that. The 5s can cancel. What's left is 11 over 2 as our final answer. H. 3 squared is 9. 10 minus 8 is 2 divided by 27. 9 and 15, 3 is in common. Bang, bang. 3 over 5 is left. 9 over 27. We can cancel out the 9. Bang, bang. What's left is 3 on the bottom, 1 on the top, times 2, like that. So 1 times 2 is 2, 3 is left. So we have 2 thirds plus 3 fifths. So we're using our fraction videos here. We're going to go times 5 here to have common denominator of 15, and times 3 here to get common denominator of 15 over there. So here we have 10 plus 9, so 19 over 5 is our final answer. Just a comment when it comes to using a calculator. When we look at this, 3 plus 4 divided by 2, if you're not paying attention, what you're going to push in your calculator is that, 3 plus 4 divided by 2. But what your calculator is going to do is bed mass. It's going to do 4 divided by 2, 2, 3 plus 2, 5, like that, which is incorrect. It's actually all of 3 plus 4 divided by 2. So 7 over 2 is the correct answer. So whenever you're using a calculator, be careful of your usage of brackets. You really want to communicate properly so that you get the right answer on your calculator. And that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video.